can the condition of man be transformed without time? You understand? You understand the question? I am conditioned as born in a certain culture, with certain religious dogmas, superstitions, realities, and the way of life that has conditioned the mind, the brain. And there are those who assert that conditioning can never be changed, they can be modified, they can be somewhat like living in a prison, make the prison rather nice. And we are questioning together whether that condition can be transformed and without time. Right? We are going to it, we are not asserting a thing. We are together investigating, if you are aware of all this, and exercising your brain, not your romantic feelings and activities, but your capacity to think. We are not telling you what to think, but how to think, which is quite different. As we said too, where there is a cause, that very cause brings about its own end. The cause of anger, violence, and so on, there is a cause for it. When there is the discovery of that cause, the effect it can be radically changed. I am lonely. which is a terrible fear and anxiety and an ache, and the effect of that, lonely, of that is isolation, more and more isolation. The cause of loneliness, if one can discover it, that the very ending of the cause is the ending of loneliness. Right? Because I've discovered the cause. I've discovered that I have tuberculosis and it can be cured. They have modern medicines that can cure it. So one must discover the cause of this sense of separateness, so, which brings about such deep isolation, which, co- which is called loneliness. Right? Please go into this with me. What is it to be lonely? In that feeling of loneliness, which is deep, isolation from all outward and inward relationship, what is the cause of that? The sense of being utterly without any relationship to anything. You all know this, perhaps. married, you may have children, you may have lots of friends, position and all the rest of it, but there is this deep element 
seed in man that is bo- that is so desperately alone, alone. Please, what is the cause of it? The explanation by the speaker is not the fact. Explanations are never the fact. Descriptions are never the re- real. The word is not the thing. So do please do not be carried away by the word, by the description, or by the explanation. It's like looking at the movement of a river in a picture, in a painting, which is entirely different from the actual beauty of a river that is in full flow. So we are asking the cause of it. How does one look at this question? How does one Enquire into this question. Do you exercise thought to enquire? Please understand me. Do you use do is thought the instrument of enquiry into such a problem? Thought being, as we went into it the other day, is limited because it's outcome of knowledge, which is limited, and knowledge can never be complete about anything. So thought is always limited. Now, do you, do we, inquire into this question by the exercise of thought? If you exercise thought, obviously, thought being limited in itself, fragmented in itself, can only discover the fragmentary causes, not the actual cause. You follow? Right? So, if one does not exercise thought, then what is there other another instrument? We are used to this one single instrument. That's our condition. That's our education. And that's the only instrument we have. And we discover that instrument is not, cannot and delve into something much more profound. Right? Be sure, be absolutely clear on this point. 